Hello everybody and welcome back to another Pro Wrestling Sim video for my uh, US Battle series or whatnot. And uh, so you may have looked towards the last part of the video or whatnot that I was at 99 million and I was kind of foot futzing with the production or whatnot when it comes to because there's like impl implication costs that I'll show uh, for the production like going back um, back and forth with it this could be a bug or whatnot but I was kind of you know futzing with hey because I was n noticing there's a match score multipli multiplier and then there's an angle score multiplier and I was kind of going back and forth to see what one would be best like and there was you know a standard of if you have state-of-the-art or high quality cutting edge when it comes to camera quality and then um major licensed um music and stuff like that that you could that i saw that you could get up to a hundred and three percent on like the angle score quality and then the match score quality was like a hundred um or 102 roughly around there so i didn't realize that with the implication cost it was taking money out of your um money that you had so i was going to put it back on the balance or whatnot but i was like you know what i'll take this as kind of like a punishment so to speak um not knowing that this would happen and move along with it and um so i know for the future if i want to switch it switch it and just go with it but since we are um not that big as a company i wanted to keep kind of these but i just wanted to see what would happen um if i would switch to these to see if maybe uh, more potential people would come to the show um because right now we're in the small hall that holds up to 100 people. The last show, 70 people came, and it was expected of 64. Um, so hopefully uh, the same amount, roughly, it, um, whether it be a little bit more or roughly the same, that come to the show, and then we get kind of, you know, the $400 worth of ticket sales. Like, yeah, we're losing a bit of money due to staff, um, salaries and stuff like that or pay per pay per appearance for you know six months and whatnot but um we are uh doing pretty well i mean the first show was a 54 percent i already booked the next show i'm within this episode i am not going to show you ahead of time what it looks like because it's already pre-booked um it's 33 days away it is in February, so I'm going to sim, or at least try to sim as much as possible quickly to that, because um, it seems like now since I do like the full-scale uh, drug testing or whatnot, I realized it's every Monday, the drug test, and that's when I'm getting the emails on if they failed and what they failed on, whether it be steroids, soft drugs, hard drugs, and so... Um, and I also saw, if you go to medical, it shows um, who's been testing positive for these things and um, who's been passing. But as of right now, I've been doing it for wrestlers only and no staff because um, staff doesn't, like, why would they need to be tested if... Uh, they're not in the ring or if like they're staff they're like maybe it could be like security and making sure that they are healthy enough or whatnot but just overall why would i test the announcers if they're not you know in a ring they're not being active as much all they're doing is talking but i know in some promotions everyone could get tested to make sure that they comply with you know what they um need to do for the company so Overall, so this is, you know, we're on the, t 
we're at the 25th and so um, this person Javin Javin has tested positive for steroids every single time we've tested now I understand steroids is not maybe as hard as maybe soft drugs or hard drugs but it's like because it's a, a muscle enhancer um I'm going to full scale and that's my wellness policy it's being tested for steroids soft drugs hard drugs and I manually choose um what the response is because I wouldn't want it you know there could be a you could set it to like a three strike policy and this person would have already been fired so um you can have fines and whatnot so we are going to answer to this email um because they did test positive uh for steroids again um this time i did i did do a fine last time um i'm going to kind of do a last chance like want them for i want them for uh this coming up event and if it's like you know for testing positive up basically if this person tests positive up to um uh the events um it may be depending on the situation on what mat the match that they're in and what you know is in that situation um because i've said before that um some championship titles will be at the six month mark because all these guys have six month contracts right now. Um, there is kind of given a spoiler of uh, two matches with titles on the line for this one um, to kind of gain um, popularity, kind of gain, uh, you know, use of the titles, not saying what titles are being used. Um, but overall, there are two championship matches within this one, but the singles, like the main event, um, I would say the top two storylines that I want to have happen aren't going to be the top two singles. Um, championship belts are not going to be issued until um, the six-month period, trying to um, finagle you know, how to build angles, how to, you know, how are they going to build themselves throughout these six months? Because after the six month mark is when Minnesota comes along and then now there's more opportunity to maybe jump ship um, or even have an opportunity to be somewhere else. So, um, and that's where the competition will be. And then it's kind of every two events will be a new state to get the ball rolling because otherwise if it's like every six months it's gonna it's gonna take forever so um overall or every six events because right now it's one per month so um it'd be you know every six events would be every six months it would just take forever so we we're gonna kind of give a last chance to see what their response is with this one make a decision and they're like whatever man so um probably gonna keep either keep them or you know, would have to, because I believe this person I put in a fatal four-way and it just becomes a triple threat. So they're kind of like whatever man, um, so to speak. So they are not um, really like an authority at this point. So we're going to proceed. Um, and we are at point one from the last event. So um, it is Sunday, so the next day. And fails again. Um, we're just going to do small fines up to the event. And then, you know, kind of do a last strike as soon as it becomes towards the end. Um, okay. So, we gave him another small fine. It's like, you're right, and I'll clean up. Um and probably doesn't want to lose money again. So we'll do another seven days. And title win request. Um, this time has come to give me a championship around my waist. 
you've only been in one before August. Um, you've only been in one match. I can reject it. I can accept it. We'll accept it. Well, rejecting will upset the worker. Um, accepting will promise the worker and make it happy if you fulfill. If you accept and meet the promise, will be very happy. If you make the promise and you fail, they will be furious. So I'm going to, because you can go to event history. Um, event history. Go here to the live show. That just happens. Because I believe they were just in a singles match, or they could have been in a tag team ta tag team match. Because I involve everybody in these shows. Uh, what? Central. Yeah, she was in a tag team match with Maria, say, Ferreira, and then Maria won. I don't have her set kind of in a tag team at all right now. I mean, I can promise it and try to finagle a tag team or whatnot that she, or a person that she can tag team with, not necessarily make a tag team and put a championship around her waist at that point, but or a title match. It may not necessarily, she may not win um, before August 2nd. And if we were to look, so we would still have some time because June, July, and then August. So maybe by the June, depending on where she is ranked, I will accept it um, and see where it goes from there. But I may not also um, renegotiate and and keep her on contract at that point. So um, um, I go to the tenth. Oh, okay, so. Not fail, so he's cleaning up on his act from steroids, and then our uh, date is the 27th. All right, try to sim to that date, and we get bombarded with another email. I think I put in the work and I deserve a push. I would like to receive a push sometime before May. That is a thing we can do um, because within storylines of what I want to do, obviously I'm not going to explain the storyline of what I want to do, um, but receiving a push towards a title, I can accept that um, because what I have set in store is for... Um, something to happen, whether it be tag team wise, whether it be single wise, um, I am going to accept that. Uh, let's go to the 26, at least proceed. And our live show is two days away. Oh, we got an email. Push requests. Sorry, dude. You're kind of an enhancement talent. So I think I deserve a push. I would like to receive some push sometime before May. Or I can accept it and try to push you because right now he's an enhancement talent. I can tr try to push him into lower mid card and try to push him up. But in reality, right now he's kind of an enhancement talent of... Being with, you know, trying to make others look good. So, um, I could reject it 
but then he's going to be upset with it. And I don't know how, like, the pushes really actually work. But I'll accept it and try to work with it and see what I can do. Um, so now I have Maria because now if we can limit the shows and we can limit the expires, now, we, uh, now I can see that, hey, before uh, try to promise a push um, before May 11th, promise to push before May 25th, and promise to push before August 2nd. Um, so yeah, our money is fluctuating and everything else. I have five backstage staff. I added some more backstage staff, um, kind of like security or just like people to talk like, uh, people for like interviewing and stuff like that. That way I don't have to use an announcer. Um, and then we have 24 wrestlers, 13 faces, 11 heels, um, and we are point one, uh, from the last event. So I don't know why money is moving around unless if it's like the money for the testing or something like that. But, um, I just have to go to the next day. Um, show day. Oh, click to pre book. The, oh, it so shows the 25th. Next day, and it's show day. Um, I'm already, I'm already booked. So, or I guess either way, you're gonna have to see it. Or I thought it's like if you already pre-booked it, you can choose to um, not show this. But for a split second, you're gonna see this, and then. Um, we're going to start show right away. Because I already pre book it. Oh, all right. So we had um, a tag team match, and it was for the tag team titles. Um, uh, the workers went for an epic feel, but the crowd wasn't buying it. Uh, the major spot brought the match to another level. Star power of Egon M added to the match, and the good looks of Egon M added to the match. Good looks of Bo Davies headed to the match. Um, Zareb was struggling. Breath. I only put it for like 10 minutes unless it was 20. Because um, it's kind of like... F I think I put it at like maybe 15. Or 10 minutes. How can you be struggling for 10 minutes? I guess if he was part of majority of it. Um, the big spot had the crowd on their feet to start off with. And the stage looked good but not quite at world quality caliber. Camera quality limits possible audience satisfaction. So, Zareb and Bo Davies, their population goes down. Harley and Egon goes up. But they're still going to be part of the storyline. So, um, hopefully by some way that they'll find a way to uh, have their population go back up again. Uh, then we got Aubrey versus Zordia Nudis and Caitlin Conway. Um, it's a triple threat. They all gain popularity, so they all must work together. 100% crowd reaction, a four-star match, 49% score. Uh, Major Spot brought it to another level. Aubrey was uh, struggling with breath, the intimidation presence... Of Nunez added to the match. Star power of Caitlyn added to the match. Caitlyn was struggling. Big sp spot had the crowd on their feet. The stage looked good. Camera quality limits. Aubrey was made to look like a threat in this match. It really helped their popularity. Sweet. So it helped everybody. And Aubrey wins the match. And then there's a promo. With Aubrey. So she's added... Point two, um, basically that she's trying to feel like a dominant figure and that she just won a triple threat and uh, the good looks added to the promo. So her score was a 43. Then we had a fatal four way um, for 
cruiserweight title. And look who won. The guy who's been testing positive for steroids. But he said he's been kind of cleaned up, backed up. So uh, he's been doing good. He kind of was on auto. I didn't select the winner. Um, so he was lucky enough that he won the cruiserweight championship. Because um, they don't say their weight. So I can't tell if they are cruiserweight or if they're not. All they can do is say if they're like obese, um, toned, or uh, ripped stuff like that so they couldn't really tell if they are you know a cruiser weight level or not but the overall level ability just wasn't there to steal the show um oscar had a boost in the performance because of their gimmick star power of oscar and the good looks added but he was struggling for breath at the end yeah because i i was gonna put it 20 minutes like five minutes per person but I felt that was going to be a bit much, so um, they're struggling for breath at the end, even with 15 minutes. Jane Cooper had a boost of their gimmick, and then the star power added to it. The looks of Alex Adams. Alex Adams was struggling for breath. Um, the stage, yeah, the stage looked good. Camera quality. And then they all lost, and then Javen didn't gain anything, probably because of I had to like steal the show, and it didn't add up. So it didn't give them anything. And it was a dud. So there was a no score. No match quality for it. And a 44. With 100% crowd reaction. Which is good. And then we got Matthew Logan. With. Uh, Lewister. Ayuila. On the start power. Of Matthew Logan added. Lewister was struggling. Stage. The camera quality. And Matthew Logan gained 0.1. It was a five-star match with a 56 rating at 100%. Then we got Quadis Okam had a boost. Uh, the performance of the gimmick, um, star power, and the star power of Dominic and Quadis uh, added. Uh, Dominic was struggling for breath. The crowd really enjoyed the special entrance. Uh, stage looked good. Camera quality limits possible. Okan was made to look like a threat, and it really helped the popularity. Dominic lost point one, and he gained, and Quadis gained point two. Uh, Quadis Okam wins, and it was a half star match with a forty percent. At least it's showing a hundred percent crowd reaction. The one hundred percent. Um, the absolute value used in calculation is 58%, but um, it's showing a 100% crowd reaction, which is good. All right, so a lot of people are, oh, the staff and everything. So Aaron, um, storyline person that he's with, uh, makes an entrance, a star power added to the beats. Um, then Quadis was attacked by Aaron, the star power of Aaron added to the beat, and the star power of Quadis. Aaron and Quadis were pulled by staff. Their star power added to the beats. And Ashton Watkins. I was saying in the last video that I was going to like fire him or whatnot because he was just added as an owner. And I'm kind of like the GM. So I was like, you know, I was going to, you know, remove him. But he does add to some points. Um, cause he is kind of a wrestler, so I could add him as a rest, uh, put him into something, but just overall, he could be that person that when it comes to like, make some match involving like people in the future, he could just add him to it and, uh, he'd be good to go and he would just evolve over time. So, um, he makes a match involving Aaron and Quadis, even though the last episode, um, they had something similar to this, and then their star power just goes throughout the whole entire thing. So their popularity is just spiking drastically. Aaron's goes by a 1.0, and then Quadis goes by a 0.9. And then we had a 0.7 by Connor Macis, Legend Atkins that I added, Nawaz and Nawaz. Uh, Connor, Legend, and Nawaz, I just was like, I need more staff. Um... 
involvement in this. Otherwise, it was wrestlers that were going to be involved playing his part. But I just thought um, I can add three more staff and then Brian and Cooper that are already part of the staff as it is for um, this type of reaction of pulling them apart so that way wrestlers if something were to happen they're not injured if there's a possibility within the algorithm of someone getting injured they're not being involved and it's staff being involved pulling them apart instead of a wrestler so and they seem to get a quite decent hit especially with connor cooper and noah kind of got a little bit of a hit but at least all of them got a hit for popularity Final score was a 57. And we have tag team matchup of shows whose boss is Janiah Lindsley. I couldn't, you know, form them together the last episode because Janiah Lindsley was in a match last week or, yeah, last episode. I mean, um, kind of last week, the last event same thing and mariah was with somebody else with nunez and then we have the money is reality of um d'angelo and richards and the star power of mariah and janaya are added to the match janaya and maria were also struggling with breath at the ends uh, d'angelo added a brute boost because their gimmick the good looks of D'Angelo added to the match. And the Richards had a boost of their gimmick. And the stage looked good. Camera quality um, could possible um, increase. And then they all gain popularity from it. And then Shania Lindsley wins. And they all gain popularity, which is nice. 47 score, 100%. Crowd reaction. And then there's also another angle involving these tag team uh, with Janai Lindsley and Mariah. Or, yeah, Janai and Mariah are attacking D'Angelo and Richards, showing a statement that, hey, we are going to show who's boss. We just beat you, but we're going to pound you again. Um, and so uh, the badass gimmick worked well with the story beat. The star power worked with them. And the star power and the good looks of D'Angelo worked with the attackment. And then Shania and Maria cut a promo on them. So the star power and the good look, basically the same thing. Um, but just uh, the score was a little different. And then Cooper Murphy makes a match involving these two tag teams in the future. And then uh, Star Power, involve them, and the Good Luck's added with a score of 57. Then we got Zoe Matthews and Anna Becker. As of from the last um, event that... Um, there was an introduction of the storyline of Anna Becker and Abby Perry. So this is also an involvement of it with the star power. So Matthews adds to the match, but was struggling for breath. And same for Anna Becker. The stage looked good. And then the camera satisfaction. So, so Matthews lost 0.1 and Anna Becker adds 0.1. 76% crowd reaction. It's a one star and a 31 score. Huh, that's weird. Because uh, last, I wonder if I should have changed it. Because it was like the last event where the guys, their storyline kind of dulled. And uh, the women's, it was like perfect. So this one kind of seems a little bit different. Then the main events. Um, angling involving Anna Becker and Abby Perry. Um, they're just engaging in verbal sparring with one another. Um, Anna Becker gains 0.3. Abby gains 0.2 with a final score of a 43. That is the end of the show. 
You got the same 54 score as of last one, and we gained 0.1 of North America. Um, so we will be 0.2. We end the show. It increases to 0.2. And uh, overall... Um, we just lose a little bit of money due to the show. Um, got 54%. So it's consistent. Um, and hopefully you've enjoyed the episode. And just let me know, uh, what kind of championship titles or what you think, uh, should be going on with how booking um, to increase maybe popularity a little bit, but it seems like it was up and down overall. And then the storyline um, seems to be improving from this one because uh, this one I think it had a score of a 30, so it's improving a little bit. Um, Abby and Anna, it seemed like it was going pretty well, but I think they decreased a little bit. And then um, the tag team titles now with the uh, championship being crowned, uh, it scored up a little bit. Um, and so they still will have a storyline going on with the tag team titles now that someone has won them. But um, there will be something uh, with them as well for the next episode. So overall, we got something in the mail of the email um she's wanting another push request um you want a push request may 11th and now you want another one before May 28th. Um, I'm going to reject that one. Because you already want one before May 11th. So. Um, it's going to be rejected. And we'll see. So we had 67. So three less. And we made a little bit of. Um, the same amount of money. When it comes to ticket sales. So. Overall, it's staying consistent. Um, knowing the little oopsie of uh, the camera or um, the production that the implication cost is kind of like the one standard fee. And then um, if you were to use it consistently, that's how much it would cost. So um, that being said, this is the end of the episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, feel free to drop something in the comment section on what you think should be improved. Um, what should I improve on this uh, simulation series? And like I said, the first six months is going to be kind of slow burn. And then eventually more uh, promotions, meaning states, are going to be involved. So this will be an interesting series um, to have fun with. And um, feel free to let me know what kind of your creative juices within pro wrestling and that I can put in this pro wrestling sim uh, to, you know, test out. Um, this game is on Steam. It is 20 bucks, And it's also in development, so it does uh, change. It was the developer on Discord was saying they're trying to make changes every month, but it is a solo person that does work with this game. And uh, he or she does a lot of looking at Discord, looking at the uh, discussions on Steam, and try to do a lot with involvement of the people playing the game and listens to people, um, takes their ideas, tries to implement them as much as possible, um, and create the best game they possibly can, because um, kind of like a similar competitor to this game is uh, Total Extreme Wrestling, TEW, um, that people have 
been mentioning before of uh, kind of comparing to see, hey, this game had this, could you add this? Or, hey, this game didn't have this, could you try and push this, um, so to speak? Um, like, one of my ideas that I would like for this game to have is maybe even performance centers or... Because um, it has developmental... Um, but the way the developmental it has in this game is you send it down to um, your, like, child promotion um, and kind of like uh, like NBA with the G League uh, that, you know, you would send someone down to the G League to develop a little bit or play a couple extra games down in the G League to um, improve your skills or if you're injured or whatnot. Um, or, like, you know, baseball, sending them down to the minors to work their way back up to the main roster so to speak and that's what kind of the f developmental in this game is um i would i would wish that they had like a performance center and like for you know college football you can scout some people or you know if someone were to um you know pop up in the email saying hey this person has maybe no experience um yeah you sign like a you know small contract of you know a couple of months and see what kind of their stats you know improve and it's either a um, you keep that person or b um, you kind of put it into a pool and it like refers other uh, promotions that hey this person you know is you know part of a portal so to speak and then they can like grab them and then maybe you get like a small amount of money from it so that way you gain um, people that you're you know coaching and teaching um, so you're not necessarily losing money on it so uh, but that being said um, we got another 54 percent score um, three less uh, people that came it was estimating uh, 64 people possibly coming 67 came the first event six, 70 came so it's roughly kind of standard and uh hopefully we'll just keep improving from now on so this is event number two down uh four more to go and then the battle starts and then the um generation population will be high um when it gets to like probably because it was high at first and then it'll be it's a low right now so uh um I think when I add like four promotions or whatnot, I'll bump it back up to high. And so then there will be a drastic amount of people that you can, you know, either release the uh, worker and um, try and get a new person that has maybe a better star power or better um, skills and attributes. So on that note, have a good rest of your day, night, whenever you're watching this and uh, stay tuned for the next one as this will be a fun series to do.